voice sounds kind of echoey in here, doesn't it? Because, well, you all are here with me. But we are still going to have VFC. We are still going to learn things. We're still going to pray for each other. And please know that you're always in our heart. So this is what we're going to do. Each week, we're going to release a video. It'll share with you scripture. You'll hear a lesson. You'll see some of the BFC volunteers that you've come to know over the years. Sit back and enjoy. Okay. Well, good morning, afternoon, or evening, Bison for Christ kids. We don't know when you're watching this. We're just grateful that you are. First of all, I'm going to let you know how much we all sincerely miss you. How much I would love to be down there telling you all, don't run, walk, be careful, stay in line. You know how the drill went. But know that in our hearts, we truly do miss you. And we are hoping that these videos and the packages we send you will be reminders that you are part of Bison for Christ. And hopefully next year, we'll be able to start again with don't walk, don't walk, don't <laughs> run, stay in line, whatever. Today I want to ask you though about how your fall's going. It's beautiful out. You've seen pumpkins are out and mums are out and everything seems so beautiful in God's creation. Did you ever wonder why God made things, the colors he did and how he did things? I want to read you a Bible verse and that's Psalms 139, 14. And it says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. That means God made me special just the way I was. I don't know if any of you have been in the pumpkin patch yet, but if you have, you've probably seen lots and lots of orange pumpkins. I'm going to tell you a story today about a pumpkin. We're going to call him Perky who wasn't happy being a pumpkin the color orange. You have to realize Perky lived in a big field with lots of other pumpkins, all of them orange. But Perky felt he deserved, excuse me a minute, he deserved to be a little more special, a different color than orange. He thought, you know what, I have that talent, I can do it. He had a poem he'd say to himself, he'd say, I'm a pumpkin, round and fat and I can change my color just like that. Well, he did that one morning and he changed his color just like that. What color do you think Perky ended up? Green. A green pumpkin? Well, you know what? It didn't work out too well for Perky. Now see, God made a cucumber and God made that cucumber green. That's the color it's supposed to be. Well, what do you think happened to Perky when he turned green? Well, it was like Kermit the Frog who sings, it's not easy being green, it's the color of the grass. Well, Perky was so proud though to be green and he went to his friends and asked, look at me, I'm green. They couldn't see him, he matched the grass. So it was like he wasn't there at all. Wow, what a waste of day. So Perky thought, green's not the color for me. I know what I'll do. I'm a pumpkin, you can do this with me. I'm a pumpkin, round and fat, and I can change my color just like that. Well, guess what color he was? Blue. A blue pumpkin? Well, he was very proud of this blue. He matched the sky and he matched the water and he was so proud of himself, he rolled over to the water to see what he looked like. He wanted to admire that blue color. He fell in. He yelled for help, but guess what? The pumpkins couldn't see him. They heard him, but they couldn't see him. He matched the water and the sky, and there he was in the water, stuck. Well, thankfully, the turtle ran into him, found him, and carried him to shore. Lucky turtle. But you know what? God made blueberries blue. They're blue for a reason. They're pretty good, too. But God didn't make a pumpkin blue. Or at least, let's say, he didn't make Perky blue. So Perky thinks again, okay, not the color for me. 
I've been green, that didn't work. I've been blue, that didn't work either. I know what, I'm a pumpkin, round and fat, and I can change my color just like that. You know what color he was? Yellow, bright, sunny yellow, or maybe lemon yellow. Just bright as this. He could not wait to show the other pumpkins his bright yellow color. So he drew attention to himself and said, hey, look, what do you think? And they said, that's just totally ridiculous. A yellow pumpkin, and they just turned their back on him. He was never happy, poor Perky. Oh dear, okay, he'd been green, he'd been blue, he'd been yellow, none of them worked. What was left? One more try, he thought, okay. I'm a pumpkin, round and fat and I can change my color just like that. And what, lo and behold, he became red. Now true, a tomato starts out green, but when it's perfectly ripe and ready, it's red. And he was so proud, he was red, and he stood out amongst the field and all the other orange pumpkins, and here he was red, and everyone should notice him. Well, guess what? It was this time of year, and people were coming to find their special pumpkin in the pumpkin field. Looking maybe for a jack-o'-lantern, maybe something like I have here, just by my flowers, but looking for that perfect pumpkin. And they all came with their kids, they looked around the field, and they were picking one orange pumpkin after another. And there sat Perky, bright red, and nobody wanted. Why? Because they wanted orange pumpkins. So finally, Perky says, all right, enough. I'm going to try one more time. I'm a pumpkin, round and fat, and I can change my color just like that. Well, all of a sudden, he was back to orange. Perfect for Perky. And what you know, there was one late family showing up at the pumpkin field. And the two kids jumped out of the car and they ran to Perky and said, this is the most perfect pumpkin we have seen all day long. Let's take him home. Oh, what joy. He was just the color he was supposed to be and he was going with just the family he was supposed to be with. So this is a message to you boys and girls. You're perfect the way God made you without change, without doing anything different. We just always want you to remember the three things Spices for Christ always talks about is God loves you, we love you, and God has a plan for your life. Now, one more little pumpkin fact. Something you might want to try at home. You say, oh, that's a white pumpkin. You're right. God made this pumpkin white. But it's also special to me because it's going to be my thankfulness pumpkin for this year. And I'd like for maybe some of you to try it too. Pick out any pumpkin that you want. And on the top you can see, I am thankful for, I have God's love, family, BFC kids, and workers. And each day I'm going to add another thing that I'm thankful for. Then Thanksgiving Day, this will be one of, part of my centerpiece on the Thanksgiving table. So hope you all are well. Stay blessed. We love you. Bye. God.